Hey there, welcome to the podcast. In this interview series, I interview Brandon Voss. And if you haven't seen the previous episodes, go back, check out the podcast, search Zach Calhoun Podcast, subscribe, and go back to the first episode where you can hear the entire interview where Brandon unlocks and reveals all his steps in his process as a professional real estate photography team. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate you. Make sure to subscribe, shoot us a review, and let's get to the interview. This episode is brought to you by cloudpano.com. Create 360 virtual tours, white label them with your own URL, add floor plans, dollhouses, upload to Google Street View. Cloudpano.com is the number one virtual tour platform. Get started today at cloudpano.com. Well, I like the simplicity of that, right? So there's three packages. <coughs> there's gonna be, there could be more in the future, but there's three packages. And if you can do all three, you're going to make more money. And you, so you'll be, they'll be automatically assigned to that customer because of the way that you're going to get your backend set up, right? Like, because right. these people can do video and drill. And therefore, if the customer orders that, then it's going to go to one of those two people, right? Correct. Okay, Correct. cool. So it's like a round, round, round robin style. Um, okay. Yeah. So very cool. Great. So this does simplify. And so it sounds like if you have enough lead flow and you can fulfill on it, you're in this good world where they are just doing the work and it's sound, and not even even talking, not even doing the sales, sales transactions or, or conversions on, on sometimes it's just all online. So let's talk about that because that's key to this business model. Obviously, like if they can just fill up your calendar automatically with transactions, that's what you want, right? You don't want to talk to anybody if you can. So, so talk, uh, let's, let's, just, let's, let's go through that some. So, and I also want to know about the, the, the typical turnaround times that people are, are needing or are asking for, and how does that play sure. into them wanting to do a transaction? Cause I know people want stuff now, today, tomorrow, whatever. Oh yeah. 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 So, so they go to the website and they pick the package they want. They click purchase, they get their credit card or whatever it is. And then it goes to a calendar. Does the do do does the uh, agent just give a range of days, or they or is it just kind of automatically like, hey, here's whenever we're available. Yes, can we come? They, give, you know, kind of deal. Right. So um, once they put in the the address, then it'll you know that automatically narrows it down to a certain number of photographers that are willing to go to that address. Okay. And then when they pick the package, that narrows it down even more to who's who can do what they provide what they ask for. And, um, and then that's going to give them, you know, certain days and times that are available. Okay. Usually, Got usually it. those days and times are, uh, they're never going to be able to choose anything the same day. Um, sure. that's just the way our system is set up. Yeah. So, um, but you can, you can do it that way. Yeah. But that would be crazy, but people yeah. would do it. If we, if we let them, they would yeah. do it. I guarantee it. <laughs> it would take, oh, come out today <laughs> well, at four o'clock. Yes, I will. Yeah. Do I'd be in Baytown and then they would, you know, yeah. and then they would, you know, pick one in Columbus, like later that day. And I would be driving <laughs> for an hour and a half to get there. But, um, gosh, but, uh, anyways, and then, um, so let's say they never spoke to us, never saw us. They didn't even go to the property they uh they just click 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 um let's say they happen to get something for the next day um so it's monday they order it the shoots on tuesday wednesday morning they're getting everything delivered to them wow so uh um, impressive so it's pretty quick the whole thing happens i mean and the magic to that is the fact that we use editors that you know a team of editors in and minor in vietnam but because of the time change that works out perfectly because you know we're submitting our you know we're uploading all of our work in the evening they're getting it in the morning they work on it all day long and then you know send it back to us the morning yeah. our time so, so it's eight hours of work that just feels like you know while you're asleep so then what um how does how are you getting the photos over there are your is your team uploading them like they're, they're, they're versed Correct. on how to get everything delivered. Right. Okay. So exactly. When, so when they shoot it they, back over, where do you mm -hmm. put it? Where do you, how do you get, how do you get it to the customer? So our system, um, you know, will integrate with Google drive or Dropbox or whatever. Mm -hmm. We use Google drive. We used to use Dropbox, but, um, so the editors send us stuff back in Google drive and you can do it. We can do it from a cell phone. We just, um, 
you know, through the web app, we can just, it, it connects to drive. So we don't even have to use a computer. It'll just suck the stuff off of drive, yeah. populate it to the, uh, to our platform. And then, and then we hit send and then the platform sends an email to the agent, letting them know, here's how to download your stuff. It's got instructions and all that stuff, but. So they you know, don't so even have to log easy. in really. They can just like download right off the email. They could, right. They, they could. don't have to log in. If they do, they can see all of their listings. Okay. So if they're the um, high volume people, they're going to log in and make sure they got the right one for the, for the probably. Yeah, 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 probably. Cool. And they like that you're a well old machine because they're a machine as well. They're trying to go fast, get more listings, sure. make things. So, so the faster you get back to them, the, the happier they are. Oh yeah. Like it, and it's funny because we typically deliver around eight 30 to nine o'clock in the morning. If 10 o'clock rolls around and they don't have their stuff, we're going to be getting a phone call <laughs> because they're used to that. They're accustomed yeah, yeah. to that. So, yeah. and it might be that it's a Saturday and like, cause so my assistant kind of oversees all that part and it might be a Saturday and she just slept in an extra hour or something because mm -hmm. it's Saturday and I let, you know, I don't really, yeah. give her strict hours or anything so you know so and, and yeah. she'll be like you know sorry uh i'll do it right now <laughs> but, <laughs> but but that's pretty rare i mean most of the time uh everything's in you know yeah. by nine o'clock or so so that's pretty great our editors by the way i don't this is probably a question you wouldn't have asked but our editors will edit our 360 photos oh cool great so um so they'll take out like um uh, you know reflections uh like if the camera is in a mirror or something they'll remove it uh nice. you know there's only so much stuff they can do but they can lighten up shadows they can replace the sky um stuff like that so nice. it, they they look pretty good now those we do tell people if you order a, a 360 cloud pano tour it might not be nine o'clock in the morning because i need the photographer to compile that that's the only other exception i would say most of the time you know their job is to drive shoot upload drive shoot upload that's it yeah um, i've seen some folks not connect any hotspots and just deliver them upload it and that's it i've, I've seen that a bunch too cool. right so yeah. but we like to do that so yeah so the photographer the next morning will have to take those photos put them in cloud panel or reorient the photo or whatever sure. So, because cool. we, we want it to look good. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Cool. That's really great. Um, well, that's super interesting. So let's talk about your administrator real quick. Um, and I, okay. do want to, I do want to talk about historically, like when you decide to hire like all this, I, I want to go over that, but what's, what's her, it's her or is it him? Who, yeah, what, what? it's a her. Okay. What's her main job? What's she doing every day? How, what, how, what's she taking off your plate, you know, making your life easier, et cetera. Obviously you're paying that person to do a lot of administrative tasks. What are those tasks and what's it look like in your operation as you know, for your business? Go ahead. So our backend system, you know, as we've, have we, as we've discussed, will populate our calendars, mm -hmm. but um, Houston is vast mm -hmm. and, um, and, and, you know, people think like, Oh, Houston's a big city. Like they don't understand. Like if you took Houston and cut it out on a map and per scale, put it on another city, it's often multiple states. So yeah, it's big. Yeah. So what happens is the calendar is not, it's pretty smart. Like it, it knows that, um, you know, like I used Baytown and Columbus earlier, those are about an hour and a half from, from yeah. one end to the other, depending on traffic. So if, if the system allowed somebody to schedule one in Baytown and then, in the, and then they, and then somebody comes on and they have one in Columbus, it's, it's going to give me that hour and a half to get from point A to point B. But I might have another photographer that's already going to Columbus. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but the system didn't account for that. So that's a big part of her job is looking at this, you know, rainbow throw up I was talking about and then mm -hmm. organizing it so that it looks like a pretty rainbow. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And uh, so that's a big part of her job is organizing the calendar. Um, also, she is the main point of contact now. Yeah. So when, it, you know, if an agent on the website, it'll say call or text our main line and it has the, the phone number right there. You know, 
uh, she has that phone. So if, if somebody texts that number, calls it, FaceTimes it, whatever, it's going to go to her. So she's going to handle that. She can answer most any question, I would say, like as far as like, uh, especially if it comes to scheduling packages, what we offer, things like that. If mm -hmm. it comes to pricing, if it's straightforward, she can answer it. Um, if, it if it's a comp complicated job for whatever reason, then she'll say, hey, I need you. I, I'm going to have Brandon call you later and then mm -hmm. and then I'll call them. But so really like there are days where um, I don't really have much contact with the agents because she's done it all. Right. And um, and to me, that is worth every penny. I, yeah. mean, I always That's tell people important layer. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I always tell people the 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 two smartest things I ever did in this business specifically was using editors and hiring an assistant mm -hmm. um, those are the two biggest things um, those two things allow me to work more and do more and be in front of places I can go to offices I can visit them I can have lunches lunches with agents and things like that take them out for coffee do whatever I need to do to get more my job is better spent drumming up more business than it is shooting a house so um so that that allows me to do that having those those people so makes sense so all the inbound calls and the outbound um communication is coming from her so she's like handling basically like getting the customer to success like getting them getting them paid up up front y'all get paid up front every time right i'm assuming correct yeah so, yeah getting up front payment getting people out there to do it, get, make sure it's delivered, make sure they got smiles on their faces. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yep. And if they don't have a smile on their face, then, um, you know, she's really good at customer service and, you know, I wouldn't say, um, like I would say that generally speaking, the customer is always right type, you know, attitude, but there have been times where we've had, you know, we've just had to part ways with somebody because we just couldn't come eye to eye on something. Yeah. But that's very, very rare. Yeah, but generally customer. speaking, yeah, yeah. Generally speaking, um, she can handle just about anything that's thrown at her. So she's amazing. And a stay at home mom with five kids, nonetheless. So, wow. <laughs> Great. I'm about to hire my wife, honey. Yeah, exactly. She's I like, need I'm, you I'm to watching all these boys. I... No, it's funny. Sorry. <laughs> oh, she can't hear me. Hopefully, I'm just kidding. Yeah, um, there you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to this episode. To get an automatic notification of our next podcast episode, make sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform and leave us a positive review on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you enjoy your podcast listening. Thanks again for being here. I really appreciate you. Keep hustling and I'll see you in the next episode.